guys, I'm Andy, and I'm here to bring you all things mundane and makeup related. If that's your vibe, I would love it if you would subscribe to be part of my little slice of the internet. So we're going to get on into today's video, which is going to be my no-buy update for quarter one. So let's go ahead and get on into it. So I was going to do this monthly, but... Then some things happened and I got embarrassed about my spending and I wanted to come in and be real with you guys and honest and why I didn't post because February happened because I posted for January I believe when or maybe I didn't even post January's at the end of the month. No because in February I was going to post what I bought and then it would have been my update for January. I went buck wild in February and we're going to go over it because I need to hold myself accountable. I finally got approved for disability. So I got my back pay and I treated myself to the things that I had been wanting for a while. So I went buck wild and spent way more money than I needed to. And we're going to go through it and explain it. None of this is in any way meant to be braggy. I'm literally putting this out there because I, I did this to hold myself accountable. And hopefully me putting this out there can help someone else. Or maybe, you know, we can hold each other accountable. Um, just to refresh the rules, because these were the rules originally. This is only going to apply to skincare and makeup, which is still true. I am not hoarding shampoo and conditioner, body soap, um, really anything else. In any, I'm not hoarding backups or buying surpluses of anything else. I'm still fine with buying replacement products, um, but I don't really need anything. The only thing that I'm out of currently are makeup wipes, but I have a micellar water, so I'm okay for the moment. Um, I, and I did not charge myself for this, but I don't know if I will be going forward with any of these, but I bought the year-long subscription, I did this in February, the year-long subscription for Ipsy, the BoxyCharm, and then I did the six months of Ice Cream Beauty Box, so I did all of those at once. Because I did say in here that I was still going to get my $15 Ipsy, my... And then my ice cream beauty box at $25 a month. Well, I also wanted the boxy charm, so I did all of those. I did put in here if Glam Light comes out with a Saw or Texas Chainsaw Master collection, that I'm allowed to purchase those, which they haven't yet, but we'll see. We'll see if that rule still stands if they decide to come out with one of those. I'm allowing myself one single makeup item to come in per month. Yeah. We're crossing that out because I'm getting makeup boxes. So obviously. Gifts and gift cards from others do not count. I'm still going to say that. But I say that with caution. Like I'm, I don't want to keep going out of my way to be like, yes, 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 please. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give I'm going to try to be better about not asking to be bringing things into my collection. If I can't stop thinking about something for at least six weeks, or and if it goes on sale, then I can go ahead and buy it. No. That no longer needs to be a rule, because I just, I have too much. So we're going to go over quarter one, which is January, February, March, since it is now April what I bought. I'm not going to show you all the products. We're just going to go over the numbers. I have done some haul videos. I've done some get ready with me's with these products. So you've probably already seen a lot of these things. All of this stuff is already into my inventory, but we're just, we're going to go over the numbers and we're going to talk about it. January wasn't that bad. March wasn't that bad. February I'm embarrassed to talk about because it was a lot. And I don't want you guys to think I got money like that. I don't want you guys, I'm on a no-buy. I was supposed to be on a no-buy. My friends know I'm on a no-buy. 
but I blew that no buy out the water. But I'm now going back into my no buy. We'll we'll talk about it. So for January. So on the 12th of January, my Ipsy showed up, but that was charged from December. So I didn't charge myself from that. On the 12th, I also got a gift from DW at Dub's Beauty Diary. So I'm not going to charge myself for any of those products because it was a gift. On the 14th. So originally, I wasn't charging myself for this because I made an Ulta purchase and had gotten me a gift card. I got myself that gift card with our money because he made a gaming purchase and we had an agreement that when he makes a gaming purchase I get to make a bigger purchase. I'm no longer doing that. So I am now charging myself for that $50 gift card. On the 20th my praise for your face order that I placed back in December had came in so I wasn't considering that for my no buy because that was from 2023. Um, on the 20th Amy had sent me a gift, so that was awesome. I got that. And then on the 21st, a... Ian got me another little gift card, and I placed a ColourPop order. A $100 ColourPop order. Because there were a bunch of things that I wanted. And originally, I wasn't going to charge myself for that. Because again... Ian and I had that agreement, and he didn't know I was on a no-buy at the time. So, I was kind of squeaking by of like, oh, I don't have to charge myself for this. I am. So, total for January, that was everything that was taken, accounted for. Total for January, counting those two purchases, I spent $150. Which is still a considerable amount of money for some people, but not horrible. I could deal with $150 being spent. So, February. The three things that I am not going to count is the fact that I did my Ipsy BoxyCharm and Ice Cream Beauty Box. I upped those. Everything else has been accounted for. And again, this is not me trying to be braggy at all. I feel disgusted going back and looking at these. Which is why I didn't make this video and I haven't made a no-buy update because I didn't want to talk about it. But the accountability. We're holding ourselves accountable. 2024. So February 1st, I bought a replacement toner because I was out of toner. It was, and I bought the Mario Badescu Milky Toner. I don't like it. And I have in here that I rated it a 6 out of 10, which I probably did on the first day that I got it. Now I would rate it like a 3 out of 10. I don't like it, but I'm using it. I'm using it up. I just need to remember, I don't like milky toners. I totally forgot that I don't like milky toners. But I didn't charge myself for that product because it was a replacement toner. Then on the second, I decluttered some makeup to friends. I wanted to write that in here. And I also went to Marshall's and purchased makeup wipes, which was a backup product. So on the 5th of February, I spent $100 at Marshall's. On the 5th, I placed a Glam Light order for $80. On the 5th, I spent $60 on the Ipsy shop. On February 6th, I placed a $100 Ulta order. On the 7th, I placed an $80 Sephora order. On the 8th, I placed a $24 Ipsy add-on order. And on the 8th, I also placed a Vizier order for $100. I love all the things that came in that Vizier order. Um, I haven't even tried the stuff from the Glam Light order. On the 12th, I placed a $60 SMB Beauty order. I like some of it. I'm decluttering some of it to a friend. So, on the 12th, I placed another Sephora order for $140. And on the 12th, I also placed a $520 Ulta order.
for just, and all these are just, the Ulta and Sephora orders are all things that, like, were in my loves list and have been in there for years since I made the account. On the 18th, I placed a $60 Cursed Cosmetics order. The products were fine. Don't like the brand. We'll never buy from them again. It just is what it is. But the products were fine. They were good. On the 18th, I also placed a Clarity Cosmetics order, which actually, that's funny. Because that's the palette I'm wearing today. Don't like it. Overall, do not like this palette. But it's fine. On the 19th, I spent $25 at TJ Maxx. And I got a Jaclyn blush, liquid blush, and a NARS powder. And I decluttered the NARS powder, so... On the 23rd, I placed a $90 Blend Bunny order, which I haven't even tried those palettes yet. On the 23rd, I placed a $100 Sugar Drizzle order. I have tried the one loose pigment I got, but I haven't tried the palettes yet, have I? I did. I tried the Matte's palette. I've tried the Matte's palette once, so I've, I've tried those. On the 24th, I placed a $90 Cannabis Creations order and haven't tried that stuff yet. On the 25th, I placed a $90 CXC Beauty order. Haven't tried that stuff yet. On the 22nd, I placed a $100 Notoriously Morbid order. I'm still waiting on that. And uh, that'll be a whole separate video. So I'm still waiting on that order to come in. Um... On the 22nd, I also placed a $100 another s and Beauty order. On the 22nd, I placed an $80 Natasha Denona order, which I've used all of that stuff and I love it. On the 23rd, I placed a $300 Amazon order for my new beauty setup, which that video is coming. That's That video has taken so much prep on showing you guys what my old setup looked like into what my new setup looks like. I bought a seven drawer setup, a five drawer setup, and a new desk. And just, that has taken a lot. <laughs> On the 25th, I placed a designer dust co order for $110. I have not used those yet. On the 25th, I placed a $175 copacetic cosmetics order. I just got that today. There was a lot of hoopla with that too. That will be a video coming as well. On the 22nd, because I wrote these out of order, I placed a Pretties for Your Face order for $82. I've swatched them, but I haven't used them. On the 24th, I placed an $80 Beauty Bay order. Haven't used them. On the 25th, I placed a $120 Bella Beauté Bar order. Haven't used them. On the 25th, I placed a 110 Nomad Cosmetics order. Haven't used them yet. On the 26th, I placed an $80 Lux B Aesthetics order. Haven't used any of it yet. And finally, on the 26th, I placed another $100 Sephora order. So for February, I spent... And again, we didn't count the re-upping on the boxes... $3,266, which is disgusting. That's way too much money. And if I didn't write it all down, I wouldn't have believed you that I had spent that much money. So, the no-buy definitely needs to stick and kick in because... That's makeup addiction at its finest, of just going hog wild and buying all the things, and I haven't even touched them. It makes me want to cry. And then we get into March. And I realized we also paid all our bills off and did all of that. And then when, starting in March is when I, now I get my normal monthly payment. Obviously, I can't go hog wild all the time. But in March, I spent, I got $24 in Ipsy add-ons. Um, I bought 
uh, spent $50 on the Glaminatrix. I bought the Pretty in Pastels palette and two loose pigments, I think. But I spent $50 on Glaminatrix. I then placed another $12 Ipsy add-on purchase because, like, you can do add-ons with your glam bag and then add-ons with your boxy charm. So that's how that happened. And then I started getting the Allure Beauty Box. So I'm going to charge myself for that because that's a beauty box that I didn't budget for. So in total for March, I spent $113 because that's all I bought. And so for quarter one, in total, I spent $3,529. Obviously, going forward in the rest of the year, I'm not going to spend anywhere near as much because, wow, whoa, relax. Um, it's the second week of April now. The only thing that I've bought is I spent the $27 on the Allure Beauty Box. I would like to buy a thing of makeup wipes, but I'm not going to charge myself for that because it's a replacement product. Because I will still stand by that. If I happen to run out of something, Lord knows when that'll happen. That's more for my skincare, and I do have quite a backup of skincare now that I'm back into getting the BoxyCharm. Because I feel like in my BoxyCharm I get a lot more skincare. And in Ice Cream Beauty Box you get skincare, but... That's, I just, you know, replacements was more for skincare. Because, like, Lord knows, the only thing I ever really need replacing for makeup is eyebrows and mascara. Everything else, I will have a surplus forever. But quarter two, three, and four are definitely going to be way less. But it's just, it was very eye-opening. And I think what really opened my eyes to how much I had spent was that I got the notification that I was VIB. Rouge for Sephora instead of just Insider and I was like oh god I've spent I've spent a lot of money because I've never been anything other than Insider for Sephora and like I don't shop Sephora like that I'm an Ulta I'm an Ulta person 100% so I just wanted to come on here and for accountability's sake not leave you guys hanging and for me, for accountability, for me to be able to come back here and be like, hey, don't do this again. Please, your wallet and your sanity, like, my anxiety, I can't handle this. <laughs> so that is my no buy update for quarter one. And I hope that you guys, I don't know why I feel like I should be asking for forgiveness, but, uh, Please forgive me for breaking my no-buy and being reckless with it. Um, any tips, tricks, comments, questions, concerns, anything you have for me, I will take it in stride and I will listen to it. I understand if somebody is upset with me in the comments down below. I will whole hundred, wholeheartedly 100% understand and listen to that in the comments down below too because that is definitely not a no buy. So I will do better going forward. But I appreciate it and I will see you in the next one.